What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John the Gamer here, welcoming you back to what could potentially be the final set of episodes in Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. In the last episode, I already forgot what we did. Um, we investigated things, and we talked to Kyoko and figured all that out. Um, and now we left Makoto in the refrigerator for three days, so I'm surprised he's still alive. But, um, leave the area? Yes. So I don't remember where I'm supposed to go is the problem. I almost, I almost should have checked the last episode before hopping into this one, but whatever, it's okay. Oh, it could be going to the gym. It could very well go to being going to the gym, but I'm going to say the dining hall just because that lit up, and I don't remember it lighting up for anything else. Hina, hi. So this is where you've been hiding. Listen, I was hoping to talk to you. M Makoto! Sorry, I gotta go! Oh, uh, no! What? She ran off so fast I didn't have time to ask her to stop. Hina, why? Why don't you want, won't you talk to me? Everybody, nobody's talking to me. This is, this is not okay. Leave the area. Yes. Okay. Are I having to go back to the lockers, maybe? Okay, at least I knew the dining hall was something. We haven't seen Hero, though. That's who... Like, we saw Hero in the garden. He was like, oh, gotta go. And then we haven't seen him since. I'll leave this area to Kyoko. Okay. There's something we missed in here. Second floor dormitory, nothing of note. Oh, 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 we got the disc. That's what happened. Okay. Got it. We got the disc from Kyoko. And that disc, we needed to go to the AV room in order to play it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. This is where the map is handy dandy, even though I'm still managing to go the wrong way. But it's fine, guys. Definitely fine. Hi, AV room. This is where I wanted to go. I remember that now. This is probably where we get Truth Bullet 18. That would only make sense. They should be able to play the DVD just fine. Well, I better take a look. I took the Kyoko, DVD Kyoko gave me and put it in the player. It said it was playing, but nothing had appeared on screen. I stared at the into the black monitor. It must have only been a few seconds. But to me, it felt like an eternity. And then all of a sudden, an image appeared. Sayaka? It took me by total surprise. It hadn't, I hadn't seen Sayaka in who knows, or Sayaka in who knows how long. And there she okay, was. Then. Are you ready okay then, are you ready to begin? The voice I heard was a man positioned in, on the side, the one on the side of the screen. It was the voice of a middle-aged man. Apologize, but I, I do apologize, but I hope you don't mind if I record our conversation. I'm a little slow, you know. I'm a little slow, you know? I never really got, never the, really got the hang of taking notes while having a, while having a conversation. It sounded like he was trying to make a joke, but Sayaka's tense face didn't move a singular millimeter. So this video is meant, so to, this video is meant to serve as some kind of contract substitute. It's it's substitute. It is not that I don't trust you guys. It's it is more like insurance. insurance. So don't worry too much. Now then. Let now then, let me get straight to the point. There's a chance that, there's you, a may chance that you may spend the rest of your life here in this school. Can you accept that? You, accept that? Uh, um. you, you want me to accept that? Sayaka obviously was at a total loss. It made total sense. Who would agree to spending the rest of your life in this school? I, I accept. What? Thank you. And Thank you. Sorry I am very sorry for all I of this. Well, I can promise that you, I promise that you and I... Oh. ...to keep you safe. As the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, I give you my word. As if on cue, that's when the video cut out. There was a lot I hadn't understood up till now, but this, only this, I simply couldn't comprehend what I heard. Because I know how much Sayaka wanted to get out of here. I know how much she wanted to escape and pursue her dreams with her friends again. 
She wanted it so bad that she tried to frame me for murder. So why? Why would she say yes to living here for the rest of her life? As I sat there thinking about it, I noticed a sudden light. On the monitor, the video that I thought was finished flashed back on screen. My eyes darted back to the screen. And if I was confused before, what I next, what I saw next pushed me right over the edge. Don't beat your hero. Don't beat your hero. Oh. Huh? What I saw was me. Impossibly, undeniably, me. So, Makoto, before we begin, I should let you know that I'll be recording our conversation. Yes. Me and the headmaster were looking at each other. He and I were having what seemed like a fairly normal conversation. But I, the I here and now, had absolutely no memory of it. I had no memory of meeting the headmaster, such less sitting down to talk with him like now, this. Shall we get straight to the point? Makoto, there's a chance you may have to spend the rest of your life here in the school. Can you accept that? Yes. This can't be real. I I said I'm yes. Sorry I'm putting you through all this. Well, I mean, we don't have much of a choice, do we? But I promise that as long as you're in this school, I will do everything I can to protect you. As the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, that's the very least I can do for you. Once again, the video cut out. From there, the video repeated the same scene again and again with all the others. Biakia. Toko. Hina. Everyone. They all said they agreed to live in the school forever, and then... Kyoko. The interview with him had to be recorded just as clearly. Without a doubt, she had met him. She'd sat down with the headmaster of Hope Peak Academy, her father... And when he asked her his question, she answered the same as everybody else. She accepted a life with the, in the school. Just as Kyoko's interview was wrapping up, the monitor suddenly went black. Huh? It wasn't just the monitor. The DVD itself had apparently turned off, which of course meant the DVD wasn't playing anymore. What the heck just happened? Say what? Oopsie! Looks like it broke out of service! What? It just happened to break just now? Too bad. Now, then, when? Doesn't matter. A failure can strike anywhere, anytime. <laughs> that w that's what failure is, right? Oh, Monica, mom. Failure, my ass. You cut the power on purpose. Well, whatever. Even when if I ask, watch the whole thing, it'd just be more of the same. He'd ask the same question. They'd all say yes. I couldn't help myself. I let out a huge, exasperated sigh as I did, and I remembered something. That's right. I fainted too. And when I woke up, I noticed a strange feeling of separation within myself. A, a disconnect. It would seem... Thinking back on it now, at that point my memory was gone. At that time, I'd forgotten. I couldn't remember why I could why I'd come to this school and I couldn't even remember what my ultimate ability was. But what would you make what would make you forget all of that? Hey. Strange, isn't it? It's hard to imagine what happened is by chance. It seemed to be too convenient. A convenient outcome? Something that seemed to obviously work in the favor of the mastermind. So does that mean I lost my memory too? What about the others? Have we all forgotten? Or... Interview DVD, is, e DVD has been updated to the truth bullet section of your handbook. There we go. That's the stuff I was expecting to have happen in this episode. That's number 18. It's been updated, so really it's only 17, but... For anything that has a start, there has to be an end. <gasps> and if the end comes, then that means it's time for a fresh start. There is no night that doesn't have a dawn. Although that dawn is totally pitch black. There is no storm that won't eventually end. Of course, then that leads to drought. But as I said, every end is the promise of a new beginning. Which is why I'm sure we'll get to meet again. Because the end is only the beginning. Anyway, let's get started. The beginning of the end of the class trial. Everyone gather once again at 
You know where. <laughs> oh, Monokuma. It's about to begin again. The class trial is going to start. The final class trial. The last time our lives will be on the line. The last time hope and despair are on the line. I don't have a choice. I have to do this. Okay, then. This is the end. We we really didn't get teleported here, game, but I appreciate you. <laughs> we were, like, right next door. I guess I'm the first Makoto. one in this time. Because we were right next door. You're early, Makoto. Listen. Does that mean you feel prepared? Yeah, for now at least. But where's everyone else? Why aren't they here yet? However, Don't worry. I'm sure they'll be here soon. And just like as like that as she said. Hi, Biakia. Biakia. He's not saying a word. Biakia? Why'd you not say a word, Mr. Mister? You need to talk. You and me need to have a conversation. They arrived, one after another. They all put they were all in the same state of shock. Hina. Yes, hero. Silence. It wasn't any normal silence. It was the deafening silence of fear and suspicion. It was like the first class trial. You called for me and so I appeared. Oh, I'm on fire. Ah, strong silent master. So wonderful, so cool, so hot. My loins are ablaze. Yes. Now listen, everything is just fine. I'll leave it to me. Hi, With my scissors sharp, er, my scissors sharp scissors in hand, I'll stab and gouge and shive the master of evil. But I thought you couldn't kill anyone but adorable little boys. <laughs> if that's what Master wants, I can be a boy or a girl or anything in between. I can handle it. Achoo! Mm -hmm. uh, where am I? <sighs> no human language can describe the disappointment I am feeling right now. <laughs> okay, I'm not hearing any sound effects. I do not know if that's on purpose. It probably is, but... Whoa, is everyone here? Oh, are wearing our gloomy gust faces, I see. Well, oh, there you go. Now I can hear it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. It was literally on purpose. Wow. Okay, that that was such a good effect, though. Like, I was just like, oh, God, did something happen with my, like, headset or anything? Like, I can't hear anybody. This is a problem. No, it literally is the game. Wow. Okay, then. Let's begin. Trials, the final class trials. trial is going to be slather than pitch black, dis pitch black despair. Climb maximum sorrow. That's fine. You're right. This is the final class trial. And the la this time, it'll be fair. What do you mean this time? Stop with all the slander. I'm a bear in good standing, you know. I'm if there was a Mr. Fair Guy Universe contest, I'd take home the tiara every year. I'm going to win this game super fair and square. Today's and I'll make sure everyone what? watching at home knows that despair is mightier than the hope. Stop talking. Enough of your tedious drivel. Begin the trial already. <laughs> sure, sure. Let's begin this trial already. I'll be waiting for you down below. Nice. So don't try and run away. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing as loud as ever, Monokuma disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. In the name of my family. This will be over in no time. With an inexplic inexplicable confidence, Biakia was the first into the elevator. One by one, the others followed. <laughs> Nobody made eye contact. Nobody said a word. They just appeared in the elevator. They're all acting odd. Like they're paranoid and suspicious of each other. However... But you know why that is, don't you? Yeah, I think so. However, well, you could tell us about it soon. At the class trial. You're right. I'm ready. So... Ready to win? Right? O of course. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you say that. And then, Kyoko is aboard the elevator. And so are we. Whew, I started making my way towards the opening. Step by step. Toward a gaping maw. I resolved this... That this would be my last time. I repeated to myself that there was no fear and no mystery left. I pushed the anxiety down, calmed my trembling body, and finally, on steady legs, I passed the threshold and stood in the elevator. Without warning, it began to descend. 
deeper, 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 and deeper still. Deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper. It fell. Wow. How many levels did we get? Like 200 levels probably? I closed my eyes. In a sight, it fell away. All sound too disappeared. Alone in the universe, I waited for the elevator doors to open for the last time. What could have been seconds or centuries later felt like a gentle vibration of the elevator to come to an end. Slowly, I opened my eyes. This is the final trial site. What do you think? Isn't it a perfect background for deciding a person's fate? The long-awaited last stage, the always exciting final boss battle! <laughs> and I'm gonna sit in on this one. I'll just sit right here in this vacant 16th seat. We'll let then let it begin. Save data, of course. That's a yes every time. Anytime the game says, do you want to save you, say yes. I'm actually gonna make a second slot because that's probably a smart idea. Open e handbook. Got a truth bullet, so we gotta look at them, get them in order real quick, because this is, like, important. Okay. We have the fifth Monokuma file. We have our places to check list. We have the control room, the tarp, the profile, the ultimate despair, who it is and what it is, the hidden room, whatever was in there, Kyoko and Headmaster, Headmaster's handbook to let him get into anything, the locker room notebook from Yasuhiro, the pocketbook that was from Kyoko, the Biolab's secret, which I should probably reread just in case. It's the morgue. Okay, so they're talking about how it's a morgue. What the lab lights mean. The fact that there's a body in the blue one. The group photo with everybody in it. The way that Genocide Jack works. What Kyoko's account was. Both the stab wound and the blow to the head were inflicted after the death rather than before. That's going to be important information that i got to remember and re recollect. And what the interview DVD had. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Cool. Let's figure out our skills. Did we gain any SP? No, we didn't. We're going to keep our SP the way it is. Everything seems fine. Since this will be the final class trial, I've come up with a special rule. Monokuma, why? So listen up. If you can figure out Muguro's killer and go on to solve the mystery of this school, you guys win! But if you can't, then I win! And of course, waiting for the loser is the super exciting, super heart-pounding punishment! Are you saying that if you lose, you'll execute yourself? Yep, sure will. And that's final? No loopholes? No wiggling out of it later? Of course not! Bears never go back on their word! Never mind all that. I just have one question for you. Oh, you're taking this serious, huh? Are you feeling okay? Is the mastermind only one person? That's a good question. Hero! Where was all this smartness later? Like, earlier in this game, excuse me? Like, that is... It, it could be multiple people, in a way. Hmm? Don't bother. I already know the answer. You're all the mastermind, aren't you? You're all out to get me! <sighs> Should not have complimented Hero. That was my first mistake. Right, aren't I? I knew it. Gosh dang it, hero! I compliment you, and then you go right back on that on that compliment. Okay. You guys have all been working together, haven't you? I have evidence, so I know I'm right. No, you don't. Hey, you stole my line. You're all out to get me. I'm sure of it. I have evidence of my own. What a coincidence. I, too, have evidence to present. Evidence that proves everyone other than me has been working together. Oh, gosh. It's the sheep game. Wait, hold on. This doesn't make any sense. 
How can the three of us each have that kind of evidence? All three of them think that everyone has turned around, or everyone around them is their enemy. There's no doubt this is a trap that Monokuma set. He set it up so that we would suspect each other. Yeah, so you how can we disprove that? You working together, haven't you? I have evidence, so I know I'm right. Hey, you stole my line. You're all out to get me. I Technically, the group photo is everybody together. What a coincidence. Besides Makoto. Which does pin Makoto, but it might be one the way that we can get out of this. What? Wait, hold on. Oh, no, no, no! That doesn't make any sense. How can the three of us each have that kind of... No, that's wrong. Okay, good start. Good start. Good it's start. It's not just you three. I have evidence too. What? You too? The evidence you're all referring to is this group photo, right? Well, well yeah. Huh? Wait, but mine's different. Oh, Monokuma, you son of a gun. It's not pinning it on Makoto. Because it's a group photo of everyone and every single photo has each of them excluded off of it. With the picture you have, I'm in it. But that can't be right. Because in my picture... See? I'm the only one not in it. I figured as much. In which case... Hero, you have a picture too, right? Uh, okay, but be careful with it. It's pretty important evidence. This one too, just like I thought. So the secret in these pictures has been revealed. Secret or whatever, I don't care. You guys are all in on this together. That's why I'm the only one missing. But you're in my picture. You're the ones trying to trick me. So the whole purpose behind these photos was to get us questioning and fighting with each other. The mastermind laid a trap to make us each think everyone else was working against us. Huh? I laid a trap? A trap? How rude! What grounds do you have for such audacious accusations? I need pr I, the proof I need to reveal Monokuma's trap. Each photo has a certain thing in common. The connection regarding what person isn't shown in the group photos. And that person is the one who got the photos. In each case, the only one not in the picture is the person who received it. So, in the picture I got, I'm the only one missing. And and that's what Monokuma, Monokuma gave us as the hint for the gym. So, again, here he is trying to skew the case, because of course. In the picture Hina got, she's the only one missing. And in the picture Hiro got, he's the only one missing. As long as we're talking about it, I suppose I should show you my photo as well. In other words, Monokuma gave each of us a group photo in which that person wasn't included. And when we each saw our picture, we just assumed everyone else was the enemy? <laughs> Figured it out, huh? Yeah, I thought that must be it. But how was that a hint? But you know, there might be more than just the Monokuma. This must be that. There might be more to this than just Monokuma trying to confuse us. There's something else, but that bothers me about everyone's pictures. What is it? What's digging at Listen, me? Can I see everyone's group photo one more time? It's not directly connected to what we're talking about, but I'd like to double check something. Sure, no problem. Yeah, I don't mind. There's something unusual. There, I'm sure there's something unusual about the group photos. What is it? I need to compare them one more time. Biakia's picture.
They're all in the school. Ina's picture. Hero's picture. And mine. Just forget about the photo already. Ugh. Trying to trick me with such an obviously fake photo. I'm still pissed about that. And on top of that, they went to all that trouble to make it look like we were wearing matching uniforms. Hmm? So you think they're fake? <laughs> no, no, no. I assure you, they're quite real. But what are you talking about? There's no way. Yeah, I don't remember ever taking a picture like that. So it's gotta be a fake. I'm sure of it. But you know, can we really be so sure? Huh? Don't get me wrong. I don't remember taking this picture either. But is that really enough to be absolutely positive they're fake? What do you mean? The reason they don't remember the picture isn't necessarily because it's fake. There might be some other reason. Some terrible reason. An unbelievable but entirely horrifying reason. Amnesia? Is that what we're going to go for? A-M-N-E-S-I-A. -S yes, yes, yes. M? There you go. Like, the letter M, excuse me? E. The fact that I actually spelt that correctly, <laughs> I'm pretty proud of that. What? S- did I hit the wrong letter? I did hit the wrong letter on accident. Okay. Dang it! If I swear, if that causes me not to get a perfect on this trial, I'm actually going to be very pissed. I'll, if I actually, like, perfect this entire trial and only get it wrong because of the fact that I misclicked, I really hope that I get something else wrong. I hate to say it, but I do. Get it? So we all just lost our memories at the same time and forgot about the photo. Makes sense. Don't think it was at the same time. As if. You expect me to believe such an unbelievable occult type story? Yeah. We all lost our memories? That's just crazy. It's only natural that they wouldn't believe it. But no matter how much they refuse, if that's the absolute truth, they have no choice. We can't move forward until they accept it. I need to get something wrong. <laughs> okay. Make your argument. There's so many. Jeez. Okay. You're saying we all got spontaneous amnesia? Mm. Since when did this turn into some kind of sci-fi fantasy? I promise you, I haven't lost my memory. Ever since I got to this school... I remember everything that's happened. So the idea that we all lost our memories... Is totally stupid, obviously. You're saying we all... Since when did this turn... I promise you, I have ever since I got to this school, I remember everything that's happened. No! So the idea oh, that crap. we all lost our memories... Is totally stupid, obviously. Too busy hitting the buttons that I shouldn't be hitting. Okay. You're saying we all since when did this turn? I promise you, ever since I got I remember everything that's happened. No, that's wrong. Sorry, Hina. It's not the truth. Those photos aren't the only things that point to the possibility of memory loss. This DVD does the same thing. You're not gonna show us something indecent, are you? No, it's nothing like that. It's a video of all of us being interviewed by the Hope's Peak Academy headmaster. When you say all of us, you mean... I mean all of us, including you. You lie! I never did any kind of interview. No, it's not a lie. Just watch the DVD and you'll see for yourself. 
The headmaster did, in fact, interview you. What are you saying? I didn't imagine you would remember. It's not about whether or not I remember. You expect me to believe all this? That I... I lost my memory somehow? Well, we don't have any way to refute it, so we have no choice but to accept it as reality. How can you say that? We're talking about living, breathing amnesia here! To be honest, I have something else on my mind right now. Something else? You said the DVD contains recordings of us being interviewed by the Headmaster, right? What were the interviews about? The Headmaster sat each of us down, one at a time, and asked us the same question. He asked us if we could accept the idea of spending the rest of our lives in this school. What kind of question is that? And how did we answer? We'd say no, obviously. Actually, we all said we could. Even me. I heard myself say yes. I could spend the rest of my life at this school. Why? Why would you say yes to something like that? I don't know. I don't remember a thing. The same goes for everyone else. Nobody remembers. You don't remember choosing to live here forever. Or even talking to the headmaster about it at all. It doesn't matter if I remember or not. Even if I bought the whole amnesia thing, the idea that I would want to live here forever? That's just insane! How can I believe that? Insane or not, we can't move forward until you accept it. Am I right? You sure are, cause it's all true! What? I know it sounds absurd, but... If it's the truth, there's nothing we can do about it. Indeed. We only have one path in front of us. Then... I really... Yep, you all totally lost your memory at the same time! This is all... making my head hurt. And this isn't like some normal kind of memory loss. You stole those specific memories from us, didn't you? Oopsie! You figured that part out too, huh? Of course. There's no way we would all just happen to get amnesia at the same time. But... How could someone just steal our memories? How? Come, come, come. That hardly matters right now. If I said it was hypnotism, would you believe me? Or we opened up your skulls and messed with your brains? Would you really believe anything I said? How it happened doesn't matter right now. What matters is figuring out what memories you took from us. That's what you're trying to say, right? <laughs> I knew I could count on you! The interview with the headmaster, taking that group photo, those can't be the only memories we lost. There must have been a purpose to it all. A reason for taking away our memories. Of course there was a purpose. It all has to do with the original motive. The original motive? You mean the motive you came up with to try <clears throat> and get us to all kill each other? That has something to do with the memories you stole from us? <laughs> it sure does. But that part's still a secret. Anyway, I'm sure it's not easy, but let's all focus on the class trial for the murder of Mukuro Ikusaba. Okay, so you want us to figure out who killed her before we do anything else? So until we do that... Well, either way, we have to explain every last remaining mystery, so... The one who killed Makuro, the true mastermind, that's the one we need to expose. Hmm. Ooh, this so is a big who one. Did it? Who killed her? Whoever did it is the same one who's behind everything. That much I'm sure of. But when you think about it, is the mastermind really here in the school? Of course. They have to be here somewhere. What makes you so sure? D really? Um, what does make me so sure? Exactly. You're just making stuff up. There's no way the mastermind is here. The mastermind is 
probably a million miles away. Uh, the masterminds always lurk off in the background, right? The mastermind, the one controlling Wanakumo. Where is the mastermind? So who did it? Who killed her? Whoever did it is the same one who's behind everything. That much I'm sure of. But when you think about it... Oh, the present. He's the dead. Mastermind really here in of course they have to be... What makes you... Um... Exactly. You're just making stuff up. There's no way the, the mastermind is probably a million miles away. What? Okay, there we go. I messed up something. That's good. I feel, I feel better. But, like, the Hindu present was the mastermind, was it not? So who did it? Who killed her? Or, no, that's the headmaster, not the mastermind. Did it. Probably a million miles there we go. No, that's wrong. There we go. Duh. Didn't have anything to do with the headmaster. It was Monokuma. There's no question that the mastermind is somewhere within the school. How do you know? Did you find some evidence or something? In the back of the data center, I found a panel that controls Monokuma. The mastermind must have been using that to control him all this time. So there can't be any doubt. The mastermind has been inside the school all along. There can't be any doubt. In which case, there also can be no doubt that the mastermind is one of us. What? Why? Recall what Makoto told us Monokuma said to him earlier. I'm sure I told you this already, but this killing game between the 16 participants, all of them are high school students. And the only people to step foot in Hope Peak's killing game has since the whole peak killing game has begun, are those 16 students. So if the mastermind is in the school, we have to assume it can only be that 16th student. But how'd they manage to survive all of this? So we're the only ones here? It's not me. I'm not the mastermind. Well, it's not me. Ah. I blame Makoto. Of course you do, Telco. What? Why me? Cuz! It's super weird how you're the only one who survived being executed. Oh, I get it. The only way he could have survived is if he was actually the mastermind himself, right? Aw, oh, nuts! You got me! Wait! What are you trying to say? Everyone, calm down. There's no reason to panic. The mastermind's true identity will become clear soon enough. Just as soon as we find out who killed Mukuro. That's a good point. Rather than wasting time bickering, we should put our minds to work solving this mystery. Yeah, well, how much time have we already spent talking about the murder? He's right. What more is there to talk about? If you want something to talk about, I think there might be one thing. We haven't fully established what Mukuro's fatal injury was. Huh? But I thought we figured that out. She died when she got hit in the back of the head. No, that isn't actually what killed her. It was something entirely different. Wouldn't you agree, Makoto? Makoto's actual cause of death must have been the other wounds. All of the wounds covering her body. That's what really killed her. Hey, now hold on a second. You did read the Monokuma file, right? The body was covered with other wounds. But these were at least several days old. It made it pretty clear. Those wounds were made at least a few days ago. So they can't possibly be what killed her. Consider this. What if the murder itself took place at least a few days ago? What? What if, when we discovered her body, she'd already been dead for several days? If that's true, then naturally the wounds that killed her would appear to be however many days old. <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. Because, because she had all those wounds before she ever came here. How do you know what? that? How do you know that? Isn't it obvious? She was the ultimate soldier, right? So that means, you know. You're wrong. <laughs> she denied me. <laughs> before I could 
could even say anything. <laughs> Come on. I mean, you think I'm... I'm not weird, okay? At least listen to what I have to say before you deny me. So you're... If you're so sure we're going to deny you, why bother saying it in the first place? Fact. There's so many options, it's actually crazy. Mukuro was the ultimate soldier. She must have been in a, a hundred different battles. So, when you think about it, obviously, she got all those wounds in battle. Are you finished? You didn't deny me this time, Z Wimesy. <sighs> you made me go all cutesy. Don't worry. There wasn't anything cute about it. The victim was the ultimate soldier who strolled across a thousand battlefields. But is that how she got all of her wounds? No. She got all those wounds. No, that's wrong. Her profile indicated different, from what I recall. No, Mukuro didn't suffer those wounds in battle. The file we found in the headmaster's room said as much. Despite the time she spent in battle after battle as a member of Fenrir, when she entered this school, she hadn't sustained a single injury. To be denied so completely. Actually, it's kind of refreshing. <gasps> Maybe it's because of all of Master's training. <laughs> Deny me again, Master. Do it. Do it more, Master. Anyway, Honestly, how she feels. <laughs> sure that Mukuro okay. suffered all those wounds after coming to this school. In which case, they could be the very thing that killed her. As a matter of fact, it's hard to imagine any other possibility. When examining her body, I found that her stomach and head wounds came after she was already dead. Unless anyone has any better suggestions... I think we can say this with confidence. The wounds Mukuro sustained all over her body are what ultimately killed her. Mukuro's fatal injury has been added to the truth bullet section of your notebook. But if that's what killed her, then does that mean she's really been dead for who knows how long? That's exactly that's, yeah. what it means. When we found her body in the garden, she'd already been dead for several days. So then... What about the little matter of what happened last night? Makoto, you said you were attacked in your room by a masked assailant. If Mukuro had already been dead for several days, certainly it couldn't have been her. So who was it that attacked you? The identity of the one who attacked me. I can't think of anyone else. I got it! The one who attacked me was the true mastermind. When we discovered Mukuro in the garden wearing the same mask, I naturally assumed she must have been the one who attacked me, but I was wrong. It wasn't her at all. It... <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just getting a little impatient sitting here listening. I think I'm gonna jump in. Let's start off with a nice, easy question. Your assumption that I attacked Makoto is just that, right? An assumption. You can't really know who was under that mask, can you? I mean, that's the whole point of a mask. The true identity of the masked attacker is Mukuro Ikusaba. At least... That's what I think. <laughs> Do you have any evidence that might convince me otherwise? No, there's no way Makuro is the one that attacked me. Even if I did see their face. If you compare what we know about Makuro and the master or Makuro to the mastermind attacker, it should be obvious. Huh. 
You never saw their face, right? So you can't have any idea who was under that mask. I'm telling you now, it was Mukuro Ikusaba! You're wrong. Even without seeing their face, there's another part of the attacker we can use to prove it wasn't her. Oh? And what is this other part? Is it the right hand? Or the left hand? Maybe the right foot? Or perhaps the left foot? What? Or could it be the hips? Over talking, they definitely they didn't have something Makuro definitely had. Yeah. yeah. You never saw their face, Max. So you can't have, I'm telling you now, it was you're wrong. There's another part of the O, oh, is it the, or the left hand? That's what I want. Maybe the right foot, or perhaps the left foot, or could it be the hips? You never saw their face, right? So you can't have any idea who was it our under left? that mask. No, it was her right, because the way she's laying down. It was Okay. I, the fact that I turned... To lay in the position that Mukuro was in on camera. That was fun. That was freaking amazing. Okay. Let's say. I literally turned into the position of Pop. <laughs> okay. A representation of Fenrir. In yes. other words, a wolf tattoo. But I saw the right hand of the person who attacked me. And there was no such tattoo. So there's no way the person behind the mask was Mukuro. Yeah, well, okay. You got me. I guess it wasn't her. Okay, you got me. I guess I, it wasn't her. But still, but still doesn't that doesn't prove, prove that it was me. Been, how could you, you know, or how could it have been, else, you know? Right? Is everyone else Hiro, right? Toko, Hina, Hiro, Toko, and I Hina, and I. Wow, we're back to not be. Oh, night. there we go. Yeah, we were in the gym tearing you apart, so it could have been any of us. Oh, okay, sure. It couldn't have been any of you. But what about Kyoko? It totally could have been her. Uh-oh, no snappy comeback. Did I score a bullseye? If you insist, I don't mind showing you. Huh? Show me what? What do you think? I'll show you the one thing that proves beyond a shadow of a doubt it wasn't me. Before anyone could say anything. Kyoko was removing her gloves. Without thinking, I let out a gasp. It was more than just Awful, bruised skin. It? it happened when I was first learning to be a detective. I was inexperienced. I thought you didn't want anyone to see those scars. If it means we get another step closer to unmasking the mastermind, it doesn't really bother me. Kyoko seemed to savor the words that she said as she said them. She put her gloves back on. My scars should suffice as proof. Makoto, did the person who attacked you have scars like mine? No, not at all. I'm positive. Then this much has been made clear. There can be no doubt that the one who attacked Makoto is the true mastermind. <laughs> this is just awful! On top of my secret being revealed, I had to look at those positively grotesque scars of yours. Uh, sorry, did I say that out loud? I do hope I didn't hurt your feelings. Not at all. You can say whatever you want. Sure, as long as it means pushing me farther into the corner, right? But I'm not cornered just yet. Because if you haven't noticed, the circumstances surrounding Mukuro's death are totally unknown. That's true. All we know right now is she was killed a good while before this morning. On the contrary, we don't know anything other than that. You're not going to tell us she was already dead before we arrived here or something, are you? <laughs> In that regard, you have nothing to worry about. I promise you, without a doubt, she died after our little killing game began here. Then somehow, she was killed in secret without any of us knowing. 
And after she died, who knows how much time went by before we found her, right? Did the culprit stash her somewhere? She couldn't have been in the garden the whole time, could she? If she was, she would have been totally decomposed. Just like your brain! Then, she was being stored somewhere? But... To hide a body here... To just store it somewhere? There's only one place. Can't think of anywhere else that the body could have been stored. I got it! Mukuro's body was probably kept hidden in the bio lab. Bio lab? You mean on the fifth floor? That's right. It's actually set up for use as a morgue. So it's the perfect place to hide a body. And it'd keep the body preserved at the same time. Then you're also saying the body was moved from the bio lab to the garden. And I have no doubt that that's exactly what happened. In fact, I have proof. The proof that shows that the body was carried from the bio lab in the garden is the tarp. I got it! What makes me so sure the body was carried from the bio lab to the garden is the tarp that we found in the garden. When I was checking it over again, I noticed something. I noticed that some text had been stamped on one corner of the tarp. Oh, it says Biolab. Holy cow! How'd you notice that tiny little thing? Makoto's nitpicky nature seems to have surfaced with perfect timing. This proves that the tarp originally came from the Biolab. In fact, there's a whole stack of tarps just like it in there. So when the killer moved the body to the garden, they must have grabbed a tarp to wrap it in. Then they simply left it as it was to protect against the sprinklers and put the code on it afterwards. Wow, you made everything sound so amazingly consistent. But that's just a wild guess! Where's your evidence? Proof that the body was wrapped in a tarp and moved! There is no evidence. I was simply explaining what I think happened. But you seem to be getting pretty worked up about it, wouldn't you say? Worked up? Now that the conversation has turned to the topic of the bio lab, you must be getting pretty nervous. Because the key to uncovering your secret identity is hidden within that room, isn't it? Are you talking about unmasking the mastermind? You see, the bio lab contained an inconsistency. One so major it can't be overlooked. An inconsistency in the bio lab. Could she be talking about I can't hear you? La, 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 la. <laughs> Such a child. Oh well, just ignore him. Hmm, I need to pull myself together and think. The inconsistency in the bio lab you could hey, be talking by about. The way, Makoto, what about that one thing? What one thing? <laughs> what do you think I'm talking about? Your family. What? <laughs> Don't tell me you forgot about that video message. So what do you think? Are you sure your family's still okay? Why are you bringing that up now? Your mom, your dad, your little sister. What do you think has happened to your family? Are they really as safe as you might have assumed? Stop talking about that! Calm down, Makoto. He wants you to get upset. Yeah, I need to calm down. I can't let him get to me. He's just saying that because he knows that we're close to getting to the truth of the bio lab. So you, I, so if I want him to, or want to shut him up, I need to expose that inconsistency and slam him with it. <sighs> oh, moment of truth time with against Monokuma. Oh no. Are you sure about this? Are you sure about this? This? Proof, proof, proof! 
I'm not listening. This should prove it. The inconsistency Kyoko's talking about is the lights. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, what about the lights? Like I said before, the bio lab also acts as a morgue. And as part of that, a giant refrigerator was installed in there. That's where everyone who's died is stored. And it was set up so that when a slot had a body in it, a blue light would turn on. In other words, if the blue light is on, that means there's a body in that slot. But I counted up the number of blue lights that were on. There's only eight, nine. Where was in, and there were only nine. There should have been ten. Why does that matter? You gotta give me the bite-sized version here, man. I got it. Ten of the lights should have been on. Any other number is incredibly suspicious. Suspicious? Why? That's simple. Just recall who's died here so far, and it should become clear. That's right, the key to solving this mystery. Sayaka. Janko. Leon. Ah, poor Chihiro. <laughs> Mondo. Taka Hafumi. Celeste. Sakura. And Makuro. Hmm. So ten people That's in all. Right. Any other number should make you immediately suspicious. But according to the lights in the bio lab, only nine people were being stored there. You're saying a dead body just up and disappeared? I got it! The masterminds destroyed one of the bodies to get rid of evidence. But if they wanted to do that, they would have destroyed Mukuro's body, since they actually killed her. And yet, her body was left alone. Then, whose body disappeared? Probably it Sakura. It may very well be that none of them disappeared. And if that's true, then why doesn't the body count match? Including Monokuma's executions. There have apparently been ten deaths, but there were only nine bodies. That's the point I'm trying to make. I'm completely lost. How can the number of victims be less than the number of murders? The reason that there are less bodies than murders. The explanation for more murders than victims. Why is that? Why would it take... Well, That was my second answer. What about so. if the same person was killed twice? Huh? Killed twice? Officially, ten murders have been committed so far, but one of the victims may have been murdered, and then murdered again. Murdered and murdered again? If that's the case, there could have been ten killings, but still only nine victims, right? Technically, you're right, I guess. But still... Something like that could easily have happened. No, it is what happened. Sounds like you're already convinced. Then can you tell us who was killed twice? It was Mukuro, of course. Before she was killed as Mukuro Ikusaba, she was killed as someone else. And that's why the body had to be stored in the bio lab until the moment we found it in the garden. No, 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 that's crazy talk. She was killed as someone else? Come on! Besides, who could that someone else even have been? All you have to do is look at those bodily injuries of hers, and that will become obvious. Nothing's gonna become obvious! 
What, she killed his Leon first? Is this someone else that Mukuro was killed as? Was it Sayaka Maizono? Junko Enoshima? Leon Kuwata? Chihiro no. Kisaki? Mondo Owada? Kiyotaka Ishimaru? Kifumi Celestia Lu? Or maybe... No, no, there's no way anyone was murdered twice! Is this some was it Junko and Oshi Leon Kuwata? No, okay. I had to get that one out of the way first. Who is this someone else? Remember, died all the witches all over her body. That is her explanation. I can solve this mystery. Who is this someone else that Luka was murdered twice? Could it be Junko? I swear we're all there with that. Who is this someone else that Luka was killed as? Was it Sayaka, Maizo, Junko, and Oshima? No. There's no way anyone was murdered twice! No. <laughs> this is where I'm really missing things. Okay. Who I thought it had to do with Leon. Someone else I was wrong. Was killed as? Who was it? Sayaka, Maizo, no? No. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, okay. Well, it's not consistent. <laughs> Who is this someone? Kifumi, Yamada? The only two Celestia, people Lu, that would have whatever. multiple... Or maybe... Sakura Ogami? No, but there's no way anyone was murdered twice! There's only two people, logically. That would have all the wounds all over her body that didn't cause the death. Who is this someone else that Mukuro was it? Sayaka, Maizono, Junko, and Oshima? Okay, no. <sighs> Crap. Leon Kuwata? No. Okay, are we not circling back is the biggest question now that I have. Whatever. Or maybe Sakura Ogami. Wait, wait, no, wait. There's no way anyone was murdered Are we counting? Are we counting also Ego's being murdered twice? Isaki? No, okay. We're not. I need, again, more possibilities and more things I need to deduce. Were we counting Ego's being murdered twice? No. <laughs> this one section. This someone... All the wounds she had all over her body. There's got to be some explanation to solve this mystery. Is this someone else that Mukuro was killed as? Who was it? Or maybe... This is my last guess. Ogami? No, no, no. There's no way anyone was murdered twice. No, okay. Crap. Well. Just like last time, I'm hitting a bump of the road in the middle of the case. Which means, y'all have figured out the next episode. Um, because... There was going to have to be an episode bump anyway, and we're about an hour in, which means it'll be about 45 minutes for you guys, normal episode length. And, yeah, I gotta piece my way through this one, so you guys are going to have to sit back, relax, have a good time. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys with the further continuation of this trial. Bye!